I was just like, wow, this is this is new, you know, and, and I suppose that's what I'm attracted to is, is just new experiences, new characters. Um, you know, the the allure of of um working with the cast, you know, learning from them. It's always something important to me, my co-stars, and um that I can learn from them. So this guy asked if I'd help him out. My buddy's car got jacked. You let me know it's there. He offered me a hundred grand if I'd grab a sample of the heroin stashed inside that navigator. Why risk it? I don't want to live my life looking at lost opportunities. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Good morning. Good Where are you good at? Evening. <laughs> in London, in beautiful okay London. so yeah it's evening for you i'm in chicago so it's uh, uh early afternoon yeah chicago is a beautiful city i was there just um a couple of months before covid hit and um what a great city man um were you there filming or just for for pleasure or no it was well it was pleasure but it was for press for midway oh midway that's right yep yeah that was awesome yeah. Well, did you any highlights from it, food wise, or things you've seen? No, I'll just say you know I find it so fascinating going to all the different U.S. cities. You know, um, feeling the different energy. I, I, I am drawn to to places like to the big, heaving metropolises, and 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 you know, it feels a lot more like home when I'm somewhere like Chicago. Um, and I know it's just the energy of the city, man. I like to walk around by myself. Yeah. And um, I did that a lot. And um, yeah, I just I just like the vibe, man. Nice people. There you go. Yeah, that, it's like it's like mini New York, but <laughs> but with like a yeah. midwestern charm to it, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. And I cleaner like it, too. I'd, <laughs> I'd love to go back and um, it is clean. I'd love to go back and and um, and shoot there, spend some time there, and absorb it a little more, you know. Yeah, come on by. So uh, yeah. definitely make sure to check it out. Summer's the best time too. Uh, how are things with you? How 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 is life going so far? And you know, it's been a crazy year, or whatnot. But um, how how are things with you? Yeah, everything's good right now, man. Everything's good right now. I'm feeling optimistic. Um, looking forward. So I've been um, the last year has been other than you know bunkering down with the family and, 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 and looking after my, my um, paternal duties. Um, mm -hmm. I have been directing. So I've done, a, done a, really? three directing projects in the last year, you know. COVID gave me the chance to, um, to practice, you know. I'd done a short film before uh, COVID. Um, it was my, my, I wrote it and directed it. And it was a beautiful, wonderful experience. And, um, you know, if it wasn't for COVID, I probably would have took another three, three, four, five years to, to do what I've done now. So, um, so I'm really pleased. I'm really excited to get this experience under my belt. Um, I've got a lot of learning and growing to do, but um, yeah, I, I think I've got an eye and a voice and, 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 and I, I enjoy it. Wow, that's cool that you kind of discovered, you know, you've done obviously the acting part. So you've seen kind of what happens behind a camera, but that's, I, I like the fact that you're going for it and tried it. That's really cool. So maybe now you can do a little bit of both. Yeah, you know, I think um, when I was growing up, I was a swimmer. I was a competitive swimmer. Hmm. When I hit 16 um, and all my friends were working in the supermarkets and such, and such, I went and did the coaching courses for swimming. And I, and, and I then had a whole different outlook on the sport. You know, I understood um, what I understood what I was doing where previously I just did it because my coaches had told me every bloody night of the week, this is what you do, you yep. know? But now I understood the fundamentals of it. And, and, and at that point, I, I wasn't racing anymore, but I became a better swimmer because I became a smarter swimmer. And so I feel like learning, you know, my experience behind the camera is going to really help me in front of the camera um, and vice versa, you know, spending all that time in front of the camera, you know, being able to watch Barry Jenkins, Robert Rodriguez, Roland Emmerich, you know. Yeah, you work with some greats. You really have a, you have a great, uh, you know, some great teachers there, you know, to along the road. Absolutely. And all of them really have different approaches and different um, attributes and different things that you, that you can learn from 
and I am a sponge when I'm on set, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. analyzing and um, absorbing it. And when I go home, I'm, I'm breaking it down and trying to work out what happened. And, you know, at the right time, I ask a lot of questions because um, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn, especially on the, the, the big movies when you've got 250 people in the crew. Man. And you're spending time thinking, what, what is your job? <laughs> right. what, you know, what, what are all these people doing here? So, um, no, it's, it's, it's a great experience. It's, it's educational. It's humbling um, to take that step back and kind of do something which I'm not as, um, you know, experienced and, and confident in, in a way. But I, I, I have a real confidence for it, and I, um, I really enjoy it. I'm glad. I'm, I'm excited to see see you go that route too. So that's cool. That's cool that you're challenging yourself and, and doing something uh, that you wanted to do, you know, and seeing the other side of the business. So I, I think that's really good all around, you know, for, for you personally and, and your career too. Thank you, man. Man, this film, by the way, uh, I I didn't know it was a true story or not. I was wondering too, but I could see it possibly happening. But it was so compelling, and, and you guys had a, just a wonderful cast on it too. Uh, tell me how you got involved with it, uh, because uh, first of all, <laughs> your character is uh, quite sketchy in a lot of ways too. But um, but man, wow! What a lot of my favorite actors in this film. A really compelling story, uh, smart, clever. I don't think I've kind of seen a movie along this, uh, you know, in a sense, uh, storyline. You know, because there's a lot of truth to it and and a mm. commentary on society too. You know, and the justice system. Uh, tell me, what was like the first reaction when you saw the script, or, or what drew you into it? Yeah, I think my first reaction is like, what the F is this? You know, <laughs> right. I'm like, I, I'm, is this Jackie Brown? Is this, you know, serial podcast season two? Uh, you know, what is this? Um, is this a heist movie? Uh, you know, it really was um, kind of confusing, but I was like, man, this is cool. And I've, I haven't, it's actually something I had to read a couple of times. It's, as you can imagine, the screenplay was quite dense. Mm -hmm. Um and, 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 you know, the way it's not written in a linear way. Um, I was just like, wow, this is, this is new, you know? And, and I suppose that's what I'm attracted to is, is just new experiences, new characters. Um, you know, the, the allure of, of um, working with the cast, you know, learning from them. It's always something important to me, my co-stars and um, that I can learn from them. You know, there's going to be a positive experience in my education as well. Um, and um, I was so excited to go work with all three of them and just see how they see what they're really like and, and, and see how it goes. And man, we had a giggle and we had a ball and we had a riot. We shot in every borough. Um, you know, Craig was like the funnest character to play. It was really interesting because it was like the meeting of two worlds. It was like... You know, some of my, my characters, I suppose all of the characters in a way are like the, this meeting of both worlds and you're kind of finding a part of yourself you can access yeah. to become this, this uh, other entity that's so far removed from you. Um, but sometimes it's a big jump, you know. If I think about like Dick Best in Midway, as we were talking, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, a, it's a real jump, you know, and I have to learn about, you know, dialect in the 1930s and, you know, the war mentality and, you know, the American military, you know, is something which is different to me. But this was really interesting because I don't believe all of those conspiracy theories. Um, I'm not from Staten Island, as you may <laughs> tell from my from my accent. Shocking. Um, you know, but I'm like, but he was so rooted in the world that I come from in, in Northeast London. Um, mm. I understood this, this, this guy. Um, his charm and his confusion, um, his shadows. It, it, it was a really, really, it was a real riot to go down. And I kept thinking when I was on set, like, I've got the funnest character. <laughs> yeah, I've because the, I've got the fun one, man. He's he's kind of a street guy, you know what I mean? Like there's there's people like that, you know, like trying to to get shortcuts through life and, you know, kind of living in the moment day to day. I'd imagine this guy lives day to day, right? Uh, he doesn't have a much of a future scene unless, you know, he has an imagined future for himself, but he in reality lives day to day. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, all of the quirks that mm -hmm. he has, you know, it was so fun working with Eileen, the, the, the um, costume designer, you know, working on the rings, you know, working on the, um, the way that he, uh, he would wear all those Jordans, you know, the space boot Jordans and he'd tuck his jeans and we tuck the jeans into the, 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 the socks and, you know, we'd wear the, the um, we had these handkerchiefs that we would use. And one of them we stuffed into um, Olivia's mouth in, in the scene <laughs> in the warehouse. And, uh -huh. you know, then we attached the car keys to them. So every day it was like, he had this kind of real physicality and, 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 and uh, it was great, man. And we used to, you know, when, when I'd go into hair and makeup, we'd, you know, get get the douchebag hair going on. And we'd get yeah, you had it grown it. out. I don't think I've seen you that grown out with the hair, too. Yeah, man. We were so, it was such a riot. It was so, so damn fun, man. It was like, it was such a positive experience. And, and, and you know, to spend that time in NY was just incredible. You know, it was, it was, um, it was May, if I remember correctly, which is just a wonderful time of year. You know, when we shot Beale Street, that was in uh, fall, you know, which was a beautiful time of year to be in New York. And then, you know, I got to go back in spring. So, you know, someone's looking out for me. Um, and I was staying in Brooklyn um, near Dumbo. Um, uh, and it was just like, man, it was just, it was just a re really positive experience. I brought my family out and um, I got some friends out in New York. So I got to, you know, spend some quality time with them. and you know, clicking with Chase and, and Olivia and the other cast members. It, it was a beautiful mm -hmm. experience. Yeah, and it was like, a, it was a predominantly English cast too. You know, you have John, you have Olivia. So that's kind of felt like home, even though you're in Brooklyn, immersing yourself yeah. in a New York <laughs> style, but you got a bunch of Brits kind of working alongside you. I uh, know, we had three Brits in a day and it sounds like a bad joke. Yeah, then, that's right. Exactly, Bill. <laughs> yeah, it was. But, you know, it's, it's, it's often like that. You know, um, it was it was fun. It's fun the fact that we're we're from the same place, but it would have been super fun if we were all from different continents as well. You know, mm -hmm. so um, but it was it was it was a good bunch. It was a nice bunch of people, and um, Scott who played the whale, he was awesome. He's mm -hmm. my guy. Um, big 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 um, sweet, beautiful man, and um. Yeah, it was, it, it was a really good experience, man. I'm smiling. Um, yeah, I can tell on your face. I it. mean, that's genuine. Yeah, it really is, man. It really is. And Chase is a beautiful soul and it's such a talented guy and so thoughtful and empathetic and, and, and delicate. But um, but he had the stamina, man. You, that's what you always wonder when, when you're working with um, new directors is how they're going to look on week three. Yep. You know, <laughs> what kind of notes they're going to come up with on week five, you know, yep. what, how they're going to pivot, how they're going to, um, you know, how they're going to move then. And, um, and he was cool as a polar bear's toenails, man. He was chill. He, 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 he um, I would love to work with him again. I would. I would. And he's such good. a talented writer and I'm hoping he's going to help me with, with some of my writing as well. No question. He wrote it. So, you know, you know, he's got success already under his belt. So yeah, uh, yeah. that's a good, um, finally on the last note, before I let you, I always love asking the question, uh, you know, I've seen your work over the years, been a big fan. Uh, you know, what are some things you like to do in, in your free time when you kind of get away from the set? Um, obviously you did some directing now in pandemic, but any hobbies or kind of interests or passions outside of the industry in a way? Right now, I'm addicted to Muay Thai. Um, really? Kick, wow. Kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm like, I went on holiday last week for like six days, and I was just out in the garden shadow boxing every day. Like, can't wait to get back and, and, and hit, some, hit some bags and pads. Um, so, yeah, you know, really, anyone that knows me knows I'm just friends, family, and training. I'm, I'm such a, such a simple man. Um, and then every now and then I swan off and do some silly stuff and then just come back and friends, family and training. That's what keeps you grounded. You know, that's what's going to keep you <laughs> away from that crazy Hollywood life and all that, you know, and focused on work. And, and that's really cool, man, that the, you know uh, what matters at the end of the day. You know, the people who were there from the beginning. Absolutely, man. Absolutely.
That's so cool. Like, I, I'm so glad to get to finally talk to you. I've been such a long fan. I remember it, it kind of like comes full circle because I remember one of my first interviews I ever did and, and films I reviewed uh, was The Model. Uh, and Matt's, no Matt's was my first interview ever, you know? Um, Where was that? At Sundance? No, it, it was just like a phoner interview when the film came out. Um, I think, yeah, right after it was... People didn't know much about it, you know. It was kind of a, a indie film, but uh, it was my kind of introduction into to what I do now. So I will always vividly remember that and how much I enjoyed the movie and talking to Mads. It kind of started my career, and uh, definitely, you know, you were a big part of that movie too. Oh, that's amazing, man! That movie is so close to my heart. I loved and, it. Um, I wish people yeah. had seen it because it was just such a well done movie and interesting and a kind of a great commentary on that industry, you know? Yeah, not everything is supposed to be for everyone, you know? Not everything yep. is supposed to be big. Not, not, not the life of, um, not everyone's life is supposed to be out there for everyone. And this, not every movie needs to be, needs to have a big life. I, I kind of feel like, the, the life that the models had is the life it was supposed to have, you know, it's mm. small and, you know, and, and it means a lot to some people, but it's like our little secret, you know, anyone, I had some guys that were moving my house, uh, moving me for my stuff from my house like four years ago or something amazing, the most efficient workers I've ever seen. In fact, when I was shooting my short film, I was like, I need to find those movers because I want <laughs> them in my crew. And one of them at the end was like, uh, all, they're all, all Polish guys. One at the end was like, hey man, were you in that movie, The Model? I was like, yeah, man. There was like, oh my God, we love that movie. And so that's like the- Yeah, because yeah, it had that, like that. Polish pro production too. So it was, I believe it was yeah. half, yeah. Half of it was like a, a Polish production. Yeah, we shot in uh, in Warsaw, in Warsaw. And uh, mm -hmm. so we spent about two weeks in, in, in Warsaw. That I'm like, Polish, I'm from there originally. So this is, that's oh, why- really? I, Yeah. Okay, yeah, we do you know who Jersey Dudek is? Yes, yeah, Dudek, yeah. Yeah, he that's my guy, man. That's um yeah, Liverpool legend, man. We that, love Jersey Dudek so much. Man. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, footballer. Awesome dude. Yeah, he, absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. You see, that's another connection, man. Uh, I always uh, just one final thing. Uh, do you ever get confused or ever anyone say that you look like Sam Claflin? Did you guys ever get? Because uh, I always sometimes when I, when I see you guys, I'm like, man, you guys kind of look alike in a lot of ways. I wonder if you ever heard that. Someone someone put up a picture of me, Sam Claflin, and Nicholas Holt. And oh like, yes, that's that's another one. All of us look kind of close. Um, I kind of see what they mean but but at the same time I don't know I feel like um yeah I think in photos for sure I think the yep. three of us look similar in, in still <laughs> photos yeah just a funny thing I noticed but uh man so cool to finally talk to you like I said really enjoyable movie this was and fantastic performance I I'm looking forward to seeing your directorial work so uh keep it up well, you can and... find it online actually if you, go, okay. if you google Little River Run um, or even if you have a look on my Instagram, you can see either a link or you can just watch it. In, um, if you're on a desktop, you can watch it in oh. Instagram. And, uh, okay. Yeah, really so proud the, of it, man. There you go. Well, I'll put out the word on that one too. So people, if there's a link, I'll, I'll link it to the, to the thing so people can check it out too. Awesome, dude. Thank hey, you, hope, hope to catch up with you again. Hopefully this isn't the first and last time, you know? Yeah, I look forward to next time, man. Absolutely. Take care, Ed. All right, much love, dude. Take care. Bye-bye.